Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Vanessa Rufus and I'm Fred Shropshire. Changes are on the way for thousands of school kids in our area. Starting Monday, all South Carolina students will be required to wear a mask when they board the school bus. State officials announced this week they'll be enforcing the federal law that mandates masks on school buses due to the rising number of COVID cases in the community. Also Monday, a mask mandate goes into effect for Chester County Schools, that district joining Charleston County, Richland County and City of Columbia Schools, all requiring masks in the classroom. And this move, as we mentioned, defies a state law that says schools can't do that. Tonight, local parents are asking us what's stopping more school districts from taking this step. So for more on that, we go to WCNC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes, who's joining us live to break it all down. Tanya, a lot of questions about this particular point. Vanessa, it all comes down to the money. It almost always does. And this law is basically stayed up, tied up with the state budget. So it says that schools like this one cannot have a mask mandate or else they run the risk of losing state funding. But now this law is going to be headed to the state Supreme Court. The decision on whether government and school boards in South Carolina can require kids to wear masks in schools will soon hinge in the hands of the state Supreme Court. <laughs> The justices will hear arguments next week over whether school districts can mandate masks or if it will be left up to the parents to decide. The school district requiring a child to wear a mask over the objection of the parent is not the way to do it. We're at this crossroads because back in June, state lawmakers passed a budget with strings attached. It says that any school district that requires masks will lose state funding. But what we are doing here is, is perfectly legal in my opinion. The majority of schools not willing to take that chance, but Chester County joined a small but growing list of school systems willing to call their bluff. I have to, I have to balance state, losing state funding or losing students or staff to death. Parents in Fort Mill, where COVID cases and quarantines are soaring, are pushing their local leaders to fight the proviso and order masks. They have a shield and basically kind of a legal supposed basis of I can't do anything, my hands are tied, that budget proviso and then they don't have to make any decision. I need someone here on the ground doing the work. Governor Henry McMaster admits the lawmakers would have to be the ones to freeze the funding. I have no power to revoke state funding to schools. Parents we spoke to say it's time for school systems to gamble with the money, not with health and safety. Given that Charleston County and Richland County have done it, I, I don't buy it. I think Fort Mill schools could call their bluff and it would be so politically toxic for them to pull the state funding that they would never do it. It just wouldn't happen. So the cases here in schools in Fort Mill continue to climb just in the last three days. The school district has added 100 new positive cases and an additional 250 kids who are in quarantine. Reporting in York County, I'm Tanya Mendes, WCNC Charlotte. Staggering numbers. Tanya, thank you.